Samri started his career as a lyricist in 1983 with the film Be Khabar. In 1990, he came into prominence with songs and films such as Dil and Ashiki. He won his first Filmfare Award for the song Nazar Ke Samne later on. He wrote 4,000 songs for more than 500 films. According to Samir, his inspirations have been lyricists Majru Sultanpuri and Anand Bakshi and his father Anjan. He has said on several occasions, whatever I am today is only because of my father. He won two additional Filmfare Awards in 1993 and 94, and his successful songs are from the films like Beta, Sajan, Raja Babu, Kuli Number no. 1, Raja Hindustani, Anjam, Kuch Kuch Hota Hai, Fisa, Dharkan, Kabhi Kushi Kabhi Kam, Devtas, Raz, Dil Hai Tumhara, Ishq Vishq, Dil Mange Mor, Tere Naam, Asambhav, Fida, No Entry, Aksar, Dhoom 2, Savarya, Res, Dabang 2 and many many more. He was awarded Guinness World Record for writing the most songs in the year 2016. Let's welcome Samir Anjan in this beautiful episode of Star Darbar with me. Namaskar and Namaste and welcome to this very special episode of Star Darbar. Tonight, as you all know that we are meeting your favorite lyricist from all these beautiful hit Bollywood numbers and he is none other than Samir Anjanji. He's right here with us and let us welcome him in this very special episode of Star Bar, where we are celebrating pre-Christmas evening. <laughs> Blessings, we are back in this fantastic episode of Star Darbar. Tonight, we have a very special person with us, and I said already that who will be here with all of you to share his story. Yes, the super hit Bollywood lyricist is right here with us, Samir Anjanji. Namaskar, Samirji, how are you, and how is everything? Uh, Namaskar. First of all, I want to thank uh, all my fans and even you and all my well-wishers. I'm very happy to connect with you and I think this evening is going to be wonderful. This is going to be a musical evening, that much I can tell you. Yes, I, yes. I love music and, you know, all your songs. I mean, I like from... I don't know what to start from, you know, because all the super hit numbers you have written. So I I, I don't know where to start, how to start. But the song I started <coughs> with, uh, with, actually, this episode, my friends who, uh, who don't know yet, I just want to tell you guys that this is one of the songs that he got film for hours. And... But, you know, we're going to go a little bit later in that part. But first, I want to let you know that he is a person who is actually a Guinness World Record holder for writing the most songs ever. 
Yes, yes. And I'm so proud about it because, you know, I mean, to reach there, to go there, it's a lot of hard work. And imagine how many songs. All right. We would love to know that how that journey started and uh, uh, and how was the feeling when you really got that nomination for uh, Guinness World Record? So it's a very long journey. It is not an easy to describe each and every factor. Even one day my children asked me, Ki, Dad, how you got it? Uh, so I told them, Ki, give me a day. For you might be very easy questions, but for me it is very, very difficult question to answer you. So whole day I was just thinking. I was thinking all day, I said See, but uh, there is the only two ma mantra of my success. One is my hard work. Second is my positive thoughts. I never feel defeated in any circumstances. I never feel defeated in any circumstances. I never feel defeated in any या मुझे इतने फिल्म फेयर मिले या मुझे ये सम्मान मिले वो सम्मान मिले मेरी केवल एक ही डिजायर थी कि जो मुझे चाहने वाले हैं मैं जिस गली से गुजरूं वहां से मुझे मेरे गाने सुनाई दे और केवल उस टारगेट को लेके मैंने अपना सफर शुरू किया एंड आई वांट टू थैंक गॉड दैट ही हैज गिवन मी एंड व्हाटएवर ड्रीम आई ड्रीम आई अचीवड दैट दैट वाज अ रियली फैंटास्टिक आंसर एंड फ्रेंड्स आई हैव टू टेल यू दिस दैट you were looking at this gentleman and he got his motivation yes of course from his family because of his dad i do believe so because his dad used to be a famous lyricist of bollywood as well and as you all know my friends you know the name he writes samir anjan actually the name anjan is actually from his dad yes i mean it's in his family writing lyrics and motivating others yes that thing is in his blood we would love to know about that that how he really motivated you to start something on your own see it's a very long story it is uh, it will take at least four five hours to describe because we would love to we would love to hear that <laughs> my I told father, you that, that my father my father episode yeah. We we belong from a very small village and the city name is Varansi, very uh, <clears throat> purest city of India and we belong from there and I uh, I was staying in a very small village called ODR Odar and my study started from very very low class uh, school and uh, I completed my schooling from there. Then I went to the Varansi at my grandfather, Mr. Shivanath Pandey. He was working in the Central Bank of India. And my father did BCom from Banaras University. And during that period only, he was very popular in Kavi Shambhalan and Mushaira and all. And his guru, Mr. Rudra Kashike, he told my father that uh, if you will work like this so hard, so one day I will make you like uh, Harvan Sarai Bachchan. So he was so much impressed by my father. So my father was not keen to come to Mumbai and become a uh, lyricist, but there was a reason behind. He, has, he was a very badly affected by asthma. He was the asthmatic and doctor told ki if you will not leave this city, you cannot survive. You have to go somewhere near sea. So finally he had taken decision and he came Bombay in 1953 and because of his illness that was there is no other way to start writing in films because he in Mumbai if he want to survive there uh, in the lyric writing field only one place in Bombay to film industry that there you have to go and work and try. So he started his journey and after 17 years struggles, 
he achieved his goal and that was the film from where anjan become a very very known name that film was dawn and that song was khai ke paan banaras wala so uh, he i can't tell you when sometimes we sat together and he describe about his struggle and all uh, uh, sometimes i feel so depressed ki if this much struggle i have to do so i will run away i cannot and in the beginning he only he told me ki you do whatever you want but never ever try to become a lyric writer and i was trying for that only and i did my mcom from banaras university and uh, i joined central bank of india as a employee but after two days my inner side always said me ki this is not your destination you are doing wrong thing and it was the one hour decision i left and you cannot imagine in 1980 a uh, 1980s the bank services was very prestigious if somebody will get it but they will never ever lose that job but i left that job because i always listen my heart and i asked my mother to give me 500 bucks and i have took that money and i came mumbai 19 80 without informing my father because i know in the moment i will tell him ki i am here and i am going to start my journey as a lyric writer he will be very angry so i struggled here around uh, one year and then my mother wrote one letter because my ma- mother was also in uh, varanasi so she sent uh, wrote one letter to my father and say ki my son is in mumbai and you even you not even a, uh, give one thought ki you should meet him then he uh, wrote he has answered my mother and told ki i am not dreaming ki your son is here so finally he searched some my relative and he told him ki wherever he is uh, bring him at my place i went there and that was the very that was the first meeting with my father my age was 23 year and in this 23 years i met him only thrice in my life so you can imagine ki even i was not believing ki he is my father whenever he comes varanasi i felt ki some guest came over there so i was i was not in the mood to meet him because even i was very angry ki why he is calling me and i know ki he will be very angry but finally i have to go there and then he asked me two three question and finally he decided ki, okay now you are grown enough and you have to take your decision by your own so there is no issue but now there are lots of challenges here and uh, i will allow you to start your work but first you come with me take proper training because this is totally different world you are coming the place where nobody knows what is the lyric writer poetry writing and the lyric writing is totally two different kind of job so i learn all that technicality and i attend nearly uh, the 100 uh, song sittings and where i was allowed only to come and sit and observe things and from there the one day he decided ki now i think you have got proper knowledge so now you can move and you can fly the sky is open and from there i started my journey and after that you know whatever i am today that because of my father only we read in some places that you have other inspiration uh, from like different writers or lyricists so yeah. if you can say a few names and your relationship with them no no not few only two names wherever i talk about uh, my inspirations only two writers whom <coughs> i got very much impressed mr majru sultan puri and anand bakshi sahab because when i started writing i was big fan of them and i learn each and every aspects of song writing because uh, i met them also and because they were very big uh, fan of my father and they were very good friend also 
and they love my father's nature and behavior and they when my father introduced me to mr anand bakshi and uh, another day to majru sahab they hug me and they told ki we can entertain you only because you are son of mr anjan and i learned lots of things from them because i was very murid you know i was very uh, i was liking them like anything because the way bakshi sahab writes you know so simple and so heart touching any common man can understand things and when i heard that song you know that abcd chodo naina sa naina jodo i sham suhani raja jani so i felt that this is the easiest job when i will go to mumbai i will write this in one second and when i was hearing the song uh, majru sahab kya hua tera vaada wo kasam ho irada so i felt you no know, no this job so i can do very very easily and i will be very successful but when i started my journey my first interview was that to write easy is very difficult and to write difficult is very easy thing because i feel you know this easy things comes not so easily it is it is so difficult you have to uh, read from galib to uh, whatever writers uh, today you can name and you should understand each and everything then only if you write and your life teach you lots experiences teach you lots then only you can be able to write some thing easy with the big thought so i was inspired by them only because of their this quality there are no other thing and they helps me lots and when i get successful they whenever they meets me and wherever they meets me they always feel so happy because i was competing them they were my competitors but mm-hmm. after that also uh, they were be very very happy about my success absolutely but at the same time since uh, your dad uh, used to hold a big name in the industry and then as his son you were joining in so was it any like pressure on you or like thinking that oh my god people are expecting a lot more from me was that ever on your like like in your mind she even now i'm always feel so much pressurized because once the question is not to uh, reach on certain place it is very difficult to maintain that place and after that you are so much worried about your name your work your your uh, status so now lots of new people are coming lots of people are following me and now the expectations expectations are so high from my side ki i have to be very careful so that is the only bad thing over here ki whatever or however success you will achieve you cannot be sure ki this is be going to be for longer time it can be you can fall out from any time and from top to bottom you will be there in any moment so you that pressure never gone you know that is still it is there and every day when i am wake up in the morning i am feeling ki oh my god what new i have to write and i am listening each and every new writer song what they are writing they am um, now i have to update my myself and i have to move with the time so that struggle is not going to finish and that pressure will be always there nazar ke samne jigar ke paas so this song is still like we all sing whenever we are in a romantic situation or for like celebration for any um anniversary or valentines day you know this song is all over you know it is i can say that this is a evergreen i mean this is one of the evergreen numbers so and also this was uh, nominated and also won the film fair award as well so the whole movie the whole concept was new the actor and the actresses they were new and uh, so as you start writing the songs for them 
what was in your mind and uh, how was you were like you know really you were looking at it like how how it should be it was very interesting journey it is very nice question because there are the lots of story behind this film behind this song particularly this song now, the ashiki was previously it was not a film we were doing one private album with uh, gulshan ji t series owner and uh, he told ki i'm not making any film so if, if people are interested to work with me uh, during that period there was the one album was very big hit the private album lal dupatta marmal ka so he says ki now i'm very keen to create lots of private album single ga, single album so we started and we recorded two song in that album that album name was chahat and we recorded first song ki main duniya bhula dunga teri chahat mein and uh, the second one uh, ab tere bin ji lenge hum then he planned one thing he started uh, creating a music bank and he publicized and he talked he told everyone if anybody is interested to took song from my bank you come and listen and whichever you likes it i will give you for your film so one day mahesh bhat went there and he told ki gulshan ji i wants to hear some song so luckily he played our uh, that chahat album song and eventually he likes very much and he told ki uh how many songs you recorded he said i recorded only two songs but four i is already ready so if you want to hear i will tell nadim shravan and samir to meet you and they will make you hear so we went there and he uh, he heard around uh, he listen around uh, six songs and he told ki look after listening all these songs i am conceiving one thing very interesting let's me create one story about and very uh, close to this music so i will make one tana bana uh, around this song only and i will make my story around this song so that's how he uh, kept name of the film as ashiki and then he thought to make one title track and then we gave him that song saaso ki zarurat hai jaise zindagi ke liye whatever and that's how the the album become a film but this song one day i was uh, uh, with nadeem at his uh, net uh, place at uh, maratha mandir he was staying in south bombay near maratha mandir and we were coming to the suburb uh, and he, i was uh, sitting with nadeem shravan i was sitting behind the uh, uh seat and he i told ki nadim bhai i have got one line it's is looking nice and i am very much impressed if you then he always very keen okay okay just just give me the, what is what is the line so i told ki this is line nazar ke samne jigar ke paas koi rehta hai wo ho tum only this <coughs> line and he said ki okay okay okay, okay wait 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 and i can't i can't tell you in 5 minute only he create this tune nazar ke samne jigar ke paas koi rehta hai wo tum and from maratha mandir till varli he composed the whole song and i completed i i, I wrote the whole song in 15 minutes and i was never expecting ki any award i will got through this song and finally i achieved that uh target and my first film where i got on this song only this is a such a great story to know uh, samir ji because yeah. i know i i i i believe that lot of 
my viewers who are watching right now globally they really don't know the main story about this and that is why i was telling you the other day that you know this one hour is not going to uh, finish or this half hour or whatever we do oh my god that's a fantastic story and i do believe that my viewers who are watching us worldwide you really don't know most of all i do believe so that this is something really new to you isn't it for me as well and also so i want to ask you this amiji uh the songs from divana right each of the songs oh my god they were super 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 hit so now the song i started with right the teri ummeed but the other song right aise divan bhi right kya oh my god i have no idea ki pyar ka jo bhi like like ek hi shabd ko lekar the way you guys put it in the way you guys write you know it's really amazing ek cheez puchna chahungi that between um aise divan ki aur teri ummeed which one is your favorite <laughs> it's so difficult the this questions asked me so many times in very very different manner somebody asked ki you have wrote so many songs which one is your favorite and which film is your favorite film <clears throat> for me it is so difficult it is so difficult to answer because <clears throat> if i wrote uh, two song five song six song so it is it was very easy to me to select and tell you but for so many numbers so many films and uh, all 95% song was big hit so it will be very unjustified to just put one song or one film so i always give this uh, uh question sensor to my people to my listeners to my viewers ki let them decide let them decide whatever they likes that it will be my favorite because they are the best judge awam jo hai the public is the biggest judge and they always uh, take the right decision and the judgment was the public judgment was always right so whatever you people liked i liked oh that is a that is a very sweet answer from you and uh-huh. yes we actually not like we love all the songs that you have done now tell me one thing that ole ole right so that is a song that's a very funny number but of course it has a beautiful romantic mix in it how you really like you know came up with such a fantastic idea she uh, before this <coughs> question sir sir i will repeat who you in during the divana and question only you are on very n- nice things and i have to describe and i give to that answer you told ki in very simple word and limited words how you people give so many thoughts and so many a uh, hit number what is the magic behind see i always say ki there are the, not the question of words usko i, I always tell in hindi ki baat lafzon ki nahi there is no question of lafz words baat lafzon ki nahi baat jazbon ki hai behind the words what is the thought that is the most important because there are the only 100 200 songs in which from shailendra till uh, now whatever writers are writing there are the limitations of words the vocabulary are very limited and so we but this dil dhadkan sajan likhne se no one can become a lyricist samir there are the very famous share that is not written by me but somebody else and uh, it 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 will be very right answer of your questions ki usse milti julti aawaz kahan se laoge usse milti julti aawaz kahan se laoge taj mahal banwa doge mumtaaz kahan se laoge you can get the words but you can't get the thoughts because the thought comes only with that person because that is his life journey that is his life experience 
that is in life struggle comes through the poetry so it is not the words that is the thought that make people stronger bigger and successful so whatever you are writing don't worry ki what words you are using it is not necessary ki if you want to write literature then you have to use very heavy words from shailendra till now shailendra ji the biggest lyric writer sahir sahab was very legendary writer what they wrote mere man ki ganga tere man ki jamuna bol radha bol sangam hoga ki nahi how simple but see the thought behind see ka sahir sahab चलो एक बार फिर से अजनबी बन जाए हम दोनों हाउ सिंपल बट सी दॉट बिहाइंड सो दॉट आशिकी दिल साजन दीवाना देन आई बिकम सॉन्ग राइटर समीर एंड आई विल बी लाइक नो 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 देर इज द ओनली वन समीर बिकॉज गॉड हैज गिवेन एवरीबडी डिफरेंट फेसेस डिफरेंट फीलिंग्स सो if you want to do something like this you have to connect with the person sometimes the some, some producer directors uh, connect me and they always tell me ki i want to you write something like guljar sahab i always say ki you are mad or what if you want uh, amitabh bachchan and you are uh, uh, going to sign ranveer kapoor how you can you have to now sign only amitabh bachchan if you want guljar sahab you have to sign guljar sahab why you came here so all this the common man doesn't understand what is the fact behind so that's how i want to clear your question because it's a very nice question and most of the people who, the common man doesn't understand this now i will give you the ole ole because when we write you know and i have wrote so many songs like we call that the meaningless words like ole ole like to uh, uh, to 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 tara to all these song not only me say ina mina dika uske pehle kitne gaane aise bane jo jo kuch words hote hain jo meaningless hote hain and we uh, purposefully use because the, when some tunes demand ki you write something should looks very very flowery and very very catchy Uh, no matter if it is uh, meaning or not if it is having meaning it's okay nah, if there is no meaning no problem uh, ramaya avastha bhaiya um, india me nobody understand what is the meaning of ramaya avastha but people are still singing and getting mad uh, or uh, duniya di tha 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 nobody but their those songs sounds very nice so that was the reason when uh, dilip sen sameer sen sang this song so the credit goes to dilip sen the he the music director of the film he says ki samir i during the make you making the tune uh, this this two words comes in my mind automatically i don't know what to do we should keep it or we should throw it and he was singing this so i asked him ki but how from where you got this ole ole so he says ki when in uh, Uh, india in the north side when rain comes you know sometimes the snow falls from the sky and that we called ola the word called ola and he says ki from there i think ola is not the ole let's do the ole ole and then he sang that words and then i felt ki you no know, then it's sounding good let's go ahead and we went to yes chopra sahab and he heard and he liked the song and the song become a craze you know so friends guess as you were listening to him and we are in actually the week before the christmas we are really enjoying it because this is such a great evening that you can spend with such a legendary lyricist you know i can say but hey we are going to be back and if you miss us don't worry we are there please 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 subscribe our youtube channel that is mana tv and of course come back to our facebook page see what's in there right i'm not going to say that and that's also mana tv stay safe stay healthy and i'll be back again with samit ji namaskar